How much do you really know about diabetes? A question that sparks a journey into the realm of a chronic health condition affecting millions across the globe. Diabetes, often seen as a mere sugar problem, is actually a complex disease that strikes at the heart of our body's energy management system. There are two main types, each with its own unique characteristics, yet both share a common theme, the mismanagement of insulin. Type 1 diabetes, often diagnosed in childhood, is an autoimmune condition where the body mistakenly attacks insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. Type 2 diabetes, on the other hand, typically develops later in life and is often associated with lifestyle factors. Here, the body either doesn't produce enough insulin or the cells become resistant to it. So what is insulin and why does it matter so much? Well, understanding diabetes begins with understanding insulin and how it functions in our bodies. Insulin. It's not just a word you hear in medical dramas, but a vital hormone in our body. This little biochemical messenger is at the heart of our body's ability to use food for energy. You see, when we eat, our body breaks down carbohydrates into glucose, a type of sugar which enters our bloodstream. This is where insulin enters the scene. Produced by the pancreas, insulin acts like a key, opening up cells so they can take in glucose and use it as fuel. However, sometimes the production of insulin is disrupted, either because the pancreas isn't making enough of it or because the cells aren't responding to it as they should. When this happens, glucose can't get into the cells and instead builds up in the bloodstream, leading to high blood sugar levels, a hallmark of diabetes. With an understanding of insulin, we can now explore the causes of diabetes. Diabetes isn't caused by eating too much sugar, but what then causes it? Let's delve into this question. The causes of diabetes are multifaceted and differ based on the type of diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune condition. It occurs when the immune system mistakenly attacks the insulin-producing beta cells in the pancreas. This leaves the body with little to no insulin. The exact reason why this happens is still a mystery, but it's believed that a combination of genetic predisposition and environmental factors, such as viruses, may trigger the disease. On the other hand, type 2 diabetes, the most common form of the disease, has a stronger link to lifestyle factors. It develops when the body becomes resistant to insulin or when your pancreas can't produce enough insulin to regulate blood sugar effectively. Several aspects contribute to this insulin resistance, including obesity, a sedentary lifestyle, poor diet and smoking. However, genetics and family history also play a critical role. It's worth noting that you don't have to be overweight to develop type 2 diabetes. Many people who are at a healthy weight struggle with this condition, often due to genetic factors and age. Gestational diabetes is another type that occurs in some women during pregnancy. It's caused by insulin-blocking hormones produced by the placenta. This type of diabetes usually goes away after the baby is born, but it significantly increases the mother's risk of developing type 2 diabetes later in life. In rare cases, other types of diabetes can be caused by specific genetic conditions, surgery, medication, malnutrition, infections, and certain autoimmune diseases. Remember, while we can't change factors like age and genetics, we can control our lifestyle. Healthy eating, regular physical activity, maintaining a healthy weight, and avoiding tobacco use can prevent or delay the onset of type 2 diabetes. Now that we know what causes diabetes, what are the signs that someone might be living with this condition? Often the symptoms of diabetes are so subtle that many people live with the condition unknowingly. It's a silent intruder, often going unnoticed until it's firmly rooted. Let's delve into some of the common symptoms that may signal its presence. One prevalent sign is excessive thirst, also known as polydipsia. This symptom is tied to the body's need to compensate for the excess glucose being flushed out by increased urination. In essence, the body is trying to replace the fluids lost from the frequent trips to the loo. Speaking of which, frequent urination, or polyuria, is another telltale sign. When there's too much glucose in the bloodstream, the kidneys can't keep up and end up excreting the excess sugar along with large amounts of body fluids. This leads to an increased need to urinate. Unexplained weight loss can also be an indication of diabetes. Despite eating more than usual to relieve persistent hunger, you may lose weight. Without the energy that insulin normally extracts from your food, your muscle tissues and fat stores may simply shrink. Constant fatigue is another symptom to look out for. This can be due to the lack of sugar entering your cells, leaving you tired and listless. 
Alternatively, it could be a result of the dehydration caused by frequent urination. Another symptom is blurred vision. Excess blood sugar can pull fluid from your lens, affecting your ability to focus. It's important to know that these symptoms can also be less common and vary depending on the type of diabetes. Remember, these symptoms don't necessarily mean you have diabetes, but they shouldn't be ignored. They could be warning signs of the disease or other health issues. Remember that diabetes is a complex condition, and it's not just about managing blood sugar levels. It's about managing your overall health to prevent complications and maintain quality of life. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, it's important to seek medical advice. But what can we expect in terms of treatment? The journey doesn't end with diagnosis. Indeed, it's only the beginning. Let's explore this in our next section. While there's currently no cure for diabetes, it can be managed effectively. To ensure effective management, it's essential to understand that treating diabetes isn't a one-size-fits-all scenario. Each person's treatment plan is tailored to their specific needs, taking into account factors like the type of diabetes they have, their age, their overall health, and their lifestyle. In many cases, the first line of defense in combating diabetes is making lifestyle changes. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins can help manage blood sugar levels. Regular physical activity is equally important. Whether it's a brisk walk, a swim, or a dance class, getting your heart rate up can help your body use insulin more effectively. Then we have medication. Depending on the type of diabetes, different medications may be prescribed. Some medications help your body produce more insulin, while others improve how your body uses it. It's crucial to take these medications as directed by your healthcare provider to maintain optimal blood sugar control. In some cases, insulin therapy may be necessary. This is especially true for individuals with type 1 diabetes, who must take insulin because their bodies can't produce it. But it's not just limited to type 1. Some people with type 2 diabetes may also need insulin therapy if lifestyle changes and medication aren't enough to manage their blood sugar levels. Now, it's important to note that managing diabetes isn't just about controlling blood sugar. Regular checkups are key to monitor for any potential complications, such as heart disease, kidney damage, or vision problems. Moreover, mental health support may also be necessary as living with a chronic condition like diabetes can take a toll on one's emotional well-being. Remember, while diabetes is a serious condition, it doesn't have to define your life. With the right treatment plan, regular monitoring, and a commitment to healthy lifestyle changes, you can lead a fulfilling life while managing your diabetes. Living with diabetes might require some adjustments, but it certainly doesn't mean an end to a fulfilling life. So, we've explored the world of diabetes, but what are the key takeaways? Firstly, diabetes is a chronic condition that affects the body's ability to regulate blood sugar levels, a task normally facilitated by a hormone called insulin. This hormone is produced by the pancreas and plays a crucial role in converting glucose into energy. Too much or too little insulin can have serious consequences, causing blood sugar levels to either soar or plummet. The causes of diabetes are multifaceted. It's not simply a matter of poor lifestyle choices or an inherited condition. Both type 1 and type 2 diabetes can be influenced by genetics, but lifestyle factors also play a significant role, especially in type 2 diabetes. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and maintaining a healthy weight can all help prevent or delay the onset of type 2 diabetes. Early detection is vital in managing diabetes effectively. Symptoms can range from frequent urination, excessive thirst and unexplained weight loss, to fatigue, blurred vision and slow healing wounds. These symptoms can be subtle and easily overlooked, so regular health checkups are crucial, especially if you have a family history of diabetes. Treatment for diabetes is far from a one-size-fits-all approach. It often involves a combination of medication, insulin therapy, and lifestyle changes. While it can't be completely reversed with the right management plan, diabetes can be controlled, preventing serious complications and improving quality of life. In conclusion, diabetes is a complex disease that can affect anyone, regardless of age or gender. It's a condition that requires lifelong management but with awareness and understanding, it's a battle that can be fought successfully. Remember, knowledge is power. The more we know about conditions like diabetes, the better we can prevent, manage, and treat them.